are here at Bazaar by Jose Andres at the Waldorf Astoria in D.C. And joining me is the concept chef for all the bazaar restaurants in the country, Chef Manuel Echeverri. Thanks so much for joining me. Thank you for coming. So the food here is known as a special experience. How would you describe the food at Bazaar? Well, every bazaar is a bit different. Uh, the bazaar is, is whimsical. Is I like to call it elf. So <laughs> elevated, loud, and fun. Oh, but elevated, loud, and fun. But still pretty approachable, um, familiar things to Jose, Spanish roots. And here in the post office, there's this touch of continental cuisine. There's this touch of, you know, the Americana history behind it. So some of the menu reflects this. And tell me about some of the dishes you prepared, starting with the lobster. So lobster and tomato salad, right in season in summer, tomatoes are fantastic. So that's kind of like how we look at the things in the menu. Very simple. The, the equation is very simple. You source great ingredients and you try to highlight them without really hiding too much of their nature. So a couple of different tomatoes, heirloom tomatoes and sherry tomatoes, picking season. There is a kombu sesame dressing to it, which is nice and subtle. It sounds like tons of flavors, but it is really just to really continue to highlight this flavor. And then main lobster as an add-on. The onions, that's, that's history from Jose, right? Like I was in Spain with Jose and he asked me to go to the market and get some onions. And then he just sort of like soaked them in sherry vinegar for 10, 20, 30 minutes and put them raw in the dish and were fantastic. Mm. So we're, we're representing that experience here. So pearl onions just marinated in sherry vinegar to highlight. Beautiful. And then the crab is so interesting and well, what a unique presentation. Yeah, well, we're, we're Maryland blue yes, crab, right? So we have, to, we have to do homage to this. And, and our friends at the Bethesda Crab House are actually sourcing this for us and bringing yeah. it to us live. So this is fresh crab. We get it live, cook it in here, and then we do an ensaladilla de potato, a potato, potato salad. Mm -hmm. uh, the difference in here is most potato salads that we're all used to, they're cold potato salads. Uh, this is actually a warm potato that we turn into a salad to order, right? So it's, it's this balance between cold ingredients but not really out of the cooler ingredients. Hard boiled egg, piparra peppers, which is this pickle long peppers from Spain, and then fresh Maryland blue crab, mayo espuma, uh, and the idea behind this is Jose loves his potato salad and there's never enough mayo for him. <laughs> it's never. So we, we turn it into a spuma that we season the potato salad, but then we top it off and finish it with trout roll. Right. I'm from Maryland, so I love Maryland blue crab. So anything with blue crab and a unique way to present it, I'm all about that. And what about this dish right here? This is one of our bizarre classics. This dish has been in our history since LA ah. about 15 years ago. and, and that's. Part of what we're trying to do here is bring back this nostalgic essence of the original bazaar, right? And that's how Jose said, like, we're coming to the post office, let's bring back the bazaar. Okay. So some of these dishes you'll see through the menu. This is a, a classic marriage between burrata and peaches. So the sphere, uh, or the burrata, are actually spheres. So we spherificate this, which is a technique to jellify the outside of a liquid or a soft component. Yeah, I was going to say burrata usually doesn't look like that. No, so this is a strachatella mm -hmm. and then we encapsulate it in this sphere. Okay. So it should be nice and soft as you pop the spheres. Mm -hmm. And then these are Japanese baby peaches. Oh. Kind of like really sweet in syrup, no seed. Uh, croutons, which are olive oil croutons, hazelnut, and then the bottom we have hazelnut praline. So hazelnut peaches, burrata, very familiar combinations, just Probably you've never seen something like this. No, I've not. I did not know what those were. When you said peaches, I said, where are the peaches? Right. And there they Japanese are. Japanese baby peaches. Wonderful. You'll, you'll be in love with them okay. once you try them. And this dish? Again, traditional sort of like flavors. So this is our octopus dish here. Uh, octopus a la gallega, mm -hmm. which is potato, octopus, pimenton for a short, short explanation version. So we're trying to represent these flavors. We add chorizo to this. In the bottom, you have a potato espuma and then octopus, potato crisp, or, or little crunchy potatoes, and then we do a chorizo vinaigrette. So pimenton, really traditional. You, you hear pulpo la gallega and you eat these. Might not look like your traditional, but once you try it, it brings you back to those memories, right? And that's bizarre. Wonderful. These are such interesting and unique dishes, but you're saying it's also approachable. Can you talk about what kind of dining experience you want people to have when they come to Bazaar here in DC? So, well, the Bazaar menus are known for being really long stance menus. Yeah. Uh, and that's in a way so you can have a more cool different experience. So you can come and have two different tasting menus that we have, 
and, and let us curate your, whole, your full experience. But you can also come and have a couple of tapas and a beer downstairs and, and be on your way. Right? So the intention is that you can come 10 different times and have a different experience every time. And it's approachable in terms of we have small tapas, a bit larger dishes, some full on experiences. But really, if you let us guide you through the process, we can create different environments every time. We know you have to travel around the country for Jose Andres. What do you think about coming to D.C.? What's it like working here and at the old post office pavilion? Well, D.C. is home for Jose. Right? So, so this means a lot to him, which then means a lot to me, absolutely. <laughs> but he, he coming to the old post office is, is a dream that he's had for a while. And finally being able to bring this dream to realization and bring in a bazaar, which is a very, very dear concept to him is, is almost like a closing the full circle. So it, to us, was, was coming home and bringing that spirit of the original Bazaar from LA is, is really the only way we could do justice to this. Well, it's a beautiful space with beautiful food to match. Chef Manuel Echeverri, Thank thanks you. so much for your time. It's a pleasure.